Have I got an intro? No. Anyway, first of all, thank you so much for 200,000 subscribers. Now, it's just ridiculous. I don't, I might have just reached publishing 20 videos. I mean, 20 videos, 200,000 subscribers is a bit ridiculous. And it's happened that quick that I've actually never, ever got a chance to do one of these, like a 10K, 50K, 100K. I've just, I don't know. Might be that I'm a rubbish YouTuber or I've just not had time. Anyway, to say thank you to you beautiful people, we have got a giveaway which involves giving away one of these. Very expensive, nice controller. Should I get it out? I'll get it out for you. Why am I speaking so quick today? Right, so this is it. It's lovely, isn't it? Got these paddles. Not a clue what they do. I think they're good for cod or something like that. Not only do we have that, we also have this lovely Spencer FC Polo, which I don't think has ever been on sale. Don't think so anyway. But yeah, um, being completely honest, not doing the giveaway just to be nice. Um, I think I've got like two of them. If you only had one, don't think I'd give it away. Polo, also got two. Nah, nah, I'm joking. Anyway, I'll get to how you can win them two lovely prizes at the end of the video. But as for now, I'm just going to answer a lot of questions. So what I've done here is I got my mate to like go through a lot of the questions that were sent in. And he's basically just sent them all over so like I can answer them like naturally. So... Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, nice and original to start off with. How are you so good at FIFA? I've not a clue, mate. Really don't know. Play from a young age? Might be like learning a second language. I think you'd pick up things better as a child. So yeah, FIFA's a second language. Next one, if ever... <laughs> oh, you stitched me up here, Annie. If Everton approached to sign you as their eSports player, would you quit hashtag or not? Well, I mean, Everton do follow me on Twitter. I mean, Everton would probably get me verified. Nah, I'm joking. I'll stay hashtag. By the way, I've got an awful call today right next one. Favourite YouTuber? Uh, Spencer. Okay, so not all of them are stitch-ups. Favourite card in the whole game? Now, a lot of you know what I'm going to say, and I'm going to say Anthony Martial. Because, like, everyone can afford him. He's basically Ronaldo, but better, so... Yeah, Anthony Martial. He's got like all the traits you need as well. I don't think most people look into them, but yeah. Get Anthony Martial. Oh yeah, just a quick one before I move on. This is a solely football FIFA based q and I did ask for two sets of questions in. You can still ask me questions for the other Q&A, which will basically just be absolutely random about my life. Make it funny, stupid. I'll probably be doing a bit less questions for that one. So make them as funny and as good as you can and send them into me Instagram at hashtag Harry. Well, it's hashtag Harry with two Ys. Don't ask. Have you ever been first in the world? Ethan, mate. Very first weekend league ever first in the world. Ah, okay. Before the game academy, did you play pro FIFA? Now, Spencer won't mind me telling this story, but the way I got into the game academy is very, very different to the other people on it. So basically, I was at university one night and, you know, walking a girl back to her room as you do. Go. Then, um, as I tried to get her to my room, it didn't work. I'm gonna be straight here, <laughs> didn't work. So I thought I'd go for a little sulk in my bed. A bit drunk at this point, you know. Scrolling through your social medias before you sleep after a night out. And then on my screen was a man in an advert saying, do you think you're good at FIFA? You can win a contract, an Xbox, all these goodies. So I was like, I was gone at the time. I was like, okay, I'm good at FIFA. Went and switched my TV on, just started playing these games on the instructions that it said. Woke up in the morning and like, to this day, I can't remember, like, the goals in them games and stuff. But I woke up, I played 5-1-5. Basically, I just kept playing the day after and the day after because it was a weekend. And then it just ended up getting to a point where I finished, like, second in that top 10 who qualified. I think it was, like, 10,000 applicants who tried to qualify for it. And I finished in the top 10. And, like, I didn't even mean to. So, yeah, the funny thing about all that was is that I just didn't watch YouTube at the time. I hadn't watched it for literally years. I didn't, like, I didn't even know people like Minimins were. I mean, you know what I mean? So... Yeah, the answer to that question is a big no. <laughs> Who's got better banter, Seb or Spencer? I mean, I'm just getting stitched up everywhere. Um, oh, I can't back out, can I? Um, <laughs> oh, better banter. Um, who pays my wages? I think it's Spencer. Spencer, you can have it, mate. How bad was AJ3, mate? AJ3, not only is he terrible at FIFA, he's a coward. Purposely disconnected out of the game, so he only lost 3-2. I mean, would have been a lot more. He knows it, we know it. He would have had to discard 
all of his players. Do you see yourself playing FIFA competitively for the rest of your life? He, he asked me a question about two questions ago, didn't he? Anyway, um, to be honest, mate, no. But money talks. If there's a competition in two years, it's like a million if you win it, then yeah. Will you ever do a fan meetup? Um, I don't think I'm at that stage yet, but I mean, if you're on a night out in Wigan, Liverpool, Ashton, then the Oh, Sunderland or Newcastle. Unfortunately for the Mackhams, I do go the old Newcastle away game, so the two Nami it is. If FIFA didn't exist, would you play Pez? Most certainly not. Messi or Ronaldo? Um, I could go with that route and say you've got to appreciate them both, but that's boring. Messi is a lot better naturally at football. You've got to say that. Ronaldo, I think he's worked harder. Because it doesn't say football ability specifically, just like who would I rather be? Ronaldo. Every single second of the week. Start putting Sunday League on your YouTube. Interesting you say that, Joe Whitlock. Because I'm actually recording my last game for the season of Sunday League. Um, I'm going to bring that out and then you can see if you like it and tell me if you want the whole series for when the season starts in August. We actually could have won the league as well. I think we'll lose on goal difference. Favourite Scottish footy team? Uh, quite simple. I'm going to put a picture on the screen for you now. Who's your fit? <laughs> Not answering that one. Best play on FIFA who's under 50k? Martial, but you're going to want someone else. So, I don't know. There's not many players who are that good around that price. I would say Kante or Nangle, and you've got to have one of them in your team, really. Would you rather support Liverpool or leave hashtag United? Um... What is your priority formation and why? Ooh. Very poshly worded. Um, 4 3 1 2. Copied off Tass. Who would you rather kill? Spencer or Tass? You have to choose. Can I not just dodge questions? Um, again, who pays my wages? Tass, I'm going to have to kill you, mate. Sorry. How do you feel about the recent new signing of Charlie Morley? Um, don't like the guy, mate. Never have. Hate him. Why do you not play for hashtag United Football Club? Um, hang on. Are those two last questions linked? Not happy about that, but um, weekend league, mate, falls on Sundays, or else I'll be in there every week, no doubt. What was your reaction to Gerard slip? Um, to be honest with you, the weird thing was, I was actually like falling asleep on my couch, I think I just played a match or something. So I was just drifting away, and to be fair, I mean, that game was very, very boring. To no fault of Liverpool's, I must say they did try, but um, I basically got woke up by, and Gerard slip, Denver bars in here. That weren't very Martin Tyler, was it? But... Yeah, um, that woke me up, and then I caught the goal, and then I seen it and just started, woo, yes. How many FIFA games do you play a day? Interesting question, Trinitis Tyler. Yeah, um, so like when a new game comes out, well this has been my thing this year, because it's the only year I've been a pro, um, I just literally, for October, I'll try and stay in and I will just kill the game. We're talking eight hours solid a day, no the ins and outs, but since like February, when I qualified for the last thing you need to qualify for. I've played like three weekend leagues out of the last eight. I don't play any FIFA midweek. So yeah, just weekend leagues when I can be bothered really. But because there's a tournament coming up next week or the week after, I'll probably try and play FIFA for all that week. And like, yeah, for obvious reasons. But yeah, not as much as you think. Who is better, Spencer or Seb at football? Um, You know what? I'm giving Spencer too much stuff at the minute. Seb. You can have that one, mate. Would you rather kill Tass or Ivan, and why? Oh, are these questions from different people? I mean, um, you know what? Tass, you're getting killed again, mate, because Tass is more competition than Ivan because he's on my console. So, yeah, you'll live to fight another day, Ivan. Smash or pass Tass? Well, considering he's dead, you're going to have to go with pass. How much money have you spent on FIFA? Interesting question also, because... I know YouTubers who have literally spent over £10,000. I haven't even spent £200 this FIFA. I refuse to do it. How do you feel about Mike joining hashtag? Um, again, more competition. Not the best pleased with it. Don't like the guy, so yeah, not very good. Would you be a billionaire under one condition, which is to never touch FIFA again? Uh, yes. I don't think any of you are understanding why I play FIFA. Who is the best box-to-box -box midfielder on FIFA 17? It is, simple, Raja Nangola. Where do you think you would be if you did not win the game academy? Um, probably on the dole, to be honest, mate. Because, although I got me A-star in Master A-level, 
which put me on a very good degree at the University of Liverpool. Um, yeah, I just weren't going. I don't know. A bit of a lazy person. So, yeah, I was about to get kicked out of uni when, like, I won it. So, very lucky. How often do you get smashed when you're meant to be playing FIFA? I'm guessing he's got this off Twitter. Yeah, it's quite a known thing. Um, I'm rather intoxicated when I'm playing my weekend league. But it's worked. Qualified for all three events. Only, like, four people have done that. So, you know. But it's not so much as being smashed at the time. It's like a severe, severe hangover, but you know, it's been working for me. Don't fix on it, what's not broke. What is your overall favourite league to play from FIFA 17? The Calcio A, is it called that now? Yeah. They've just got so many good cheap players, especially the midfield. You need to be able to dominate people with a midfield if you're going for a cheap team, so yeah, go with that league. What was your favourite moment on Spencer of the Game Academy, apart from winning it? Um, the night out in London with a free place to stay, maybe? Nah, um, it was probably like the behind the scenes bit that you didn't see, like speaking to everyone, all the mind games getting on, like... I had every single person in that room wrapped around my finger from day one. That's all I'm saying. Mind games were crucial. And probably like, yeah, like getting to know like Spencer, stuff like that, you know. Cute. Who's the funniest guy at hashtag, and if you went out on the street, who would embarrass you the most? Um, Jacko would try. Try being the operative word, but you know... He's getting on now, isn't he? Who has the worst haircut on hashtag? Um, oh, Spencer's is not the best sometimes, is it? Um, you know what? I'm going to delve away from the squad and I'm going to say hashtag Mike because he spends about 30 hours a morning doing his hair and it'll annoy him very much. Who's better, you or Tass? Um, again, considering he's dead, I would fancy myself. Who is the best and worst hashtag player? Oh, best. I'm going to go Dan Brown. I like what I've seen of Charlie Morley. Don't tell him that. Um, but yeah, overall, I would say Dan Brown. Just Ryan Adams as well, though. Uh, uh, I don't know. One of them three. Worst. Um, you know what? Again, I do want to play more matches. And this may cause controversy. So I think Tass is technically signed on. So I'm going to say Tass, because he is dead. By the way, before the rumours start, Tass is not actually dead. What is your favourite bronze player to use, mate? Theo, you did not watch the bronze team series. Top 100 with a bronze team, don't mention it a lot. Emre Moore. If I told you five years ago you will be a pro FIFA player, what would you say? Um, guessing that you're a brummy, so probably, who are you? Why do you know me? Why are you speaking to a 15, 16 year old? Something along them lines. Arsene Wenger out or in? got to be in, Ellie. Every non-Arsenal fan has got to be Arsene Wenger in, just for the controversy. Do you think there will be a reward for those who qualify to foot champs every week for the whole year? And if yes, what do you think it will be? No. Favourite Wigan rugby player? Um, Gonna have to go with my mate for this one, Oliver Gildar. You. Compare yourself to one player currently playing. Right, you know what, I'll get back to you, I'll put it on my group inbox now. Get another person's opinion. Oh, okay, we got a class Jan Huntler out, my mate. Take that, deadly finish in the box. Um, I would say, before I did my ligaments in my ankles, I'd go for more like a prime Wayne Rooney. But, you know, yeah, these days, Hunter that's probably correct. What's your favourite FIFA moment so far? Again, linked with me winning the Spencer FC Game Academy, it was this. Gets past his man, keeps it in. Could be game over. Oh, he tried the back back kill. Oh. Can you imagine winning the Game Academy with a back kill? Modric, turn, Good turn, hit it. it. Oh. Oh. Injury time. Harry Mayo clinched it. There it is. There's the final whistle. Harry wins the Spencer FC Game Academy, gets himself a 12-month esports contract and becomes the first ever signing to hashtag United. Do, okay. Do you want to be in the Wembley Cup next year? Now, Spencer, I know you're watching this. Watch all my videos. Um, get me involved. What's it like being the best thief player in the world? You said it, mate, not me. What was the hardest part or episode of Spencer FC Game Academy? Definitely a million percent, either the first or last. First, because it was a bit of an unknown, and we knew Spencer was alright, and the first time cameras being on you, all of that, and hundreds of thousands watching, so either that or the final, just because you knew what was up for stake. Like, I knew if I won that match, I could probably do this. So, yeah, that was just so, like, I'm not a nervous person, but... When you know there's that much on the line, it just overtakes. So probably the game against Kez. What's been your favourite moment since signing for Hashtag United? I think my debut was the one at Upton Park. So yeah, definitely making my debut football-wise and playing at Upton Park. But yeah, I beat 
West Ham's FIFA player as well in the exhibition match and the first ever tournament between professional clubs. So, been decent so far. If you could, would you move from hashtag to a BPL esports team and what team would it be? Um, one sec, let me just check how many followers Manchester United have. Nah, joking. Joking. I promise. Stop looking at me. I met you in KFC. If you could meet any footballer, who would you meet? I mean, mate, if you have meant to spell meat like that, then fair play. That is a pun and a half. I love it. Oh, I didn't even answer the question, did I? Um, Lukaku. Can you... Oh, this is an interesting one. Can you win a match facing a mirror, which is facing a screen? Leave a like on the video if you want that to be tested for a weekend league. I doubt I'll get more than 10, but I'll give it a go. Who is the best player you have packed? Now... Did I mention the team of the year thing before? I think I did, but yeah. The team of the year player in January. Still not uploaded. It's a good one. So um, you can also leave a like if you want me to show that. Just last question. Okay. Would you rather quit FIFA or support Liverpool? Take that trial out. So yeah, it's been nice knowing you. That was pathetic. Not sure if that was a long or short Q&A. Never done one before, so I wanted to I wanted to try and get as many questions in as possible. Actually, I'll do the giveaway stuff first. So anyway, as mentioned at the start of the video, to win these beautiful prizes, what you have to do is go on my Instagram, which is at hashtag Harry with another Y. And I'll put the instructions in a pinned comment below. But what you need to do, you need to go on to my Instagram. You'll see a picture with these two on display. And what you need to do is like the picture, make sure you're following the account or you won't be able to win it, and tag a friend in the comments. That's it, I will put it in a pinned comment below, follow them step, and you can win this, which I'll make Spencer sign, and um, I can if you want. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that, hopefully it gave you like a little insight, as I've never spoke about the academy and stuff like that before, my job, and hopefully gave you a few tips on FIFA. You know what, as a treat, I'll put my updated custom tactics in the description as well. So yeah, remember all the giveaway stuff. If you want to win, remember to ask me a funny, random question on a separate post. Subscribe for more, leave a like if you've enjoyed it, and until next time, don't forget to hashtag it.